thanks, guys. Well, millions of Americans from Boston to Baltimore are digging out right now from under the so-called Beast of the East, the worst snowstorm to hit the eastern United States in years. The Weather Channel's meteorologist Mike Seidel is out in the snow here in New York City to tell us what caused this monster storm. Mike, good morning to you. Good morning, Hannah. I like that beast of the east. Did you coin that? <laughs> no, I'm afraid I didn't, but it is appropriate, isn't it? I, it is. I it is. I tell you what, Mike, that volume of snow for that sustained amount of time seemed really unusual. Can you put it in historical perspective for us? Yeah, let's do that, Hannah. Let's talk about the big cities of the Northeast. We'll work up I-95 first in Baltimore, 16, rather in D.C., 16.2 inches. That ranks six of all time. Baltimore now 26.6. Now, that could be the biggest storm on record, but they added in the Saturday morning snow, so they're going to have to uh, look into that. Here in New York City, the fourth all-time storm, the biggest storm in February, just a hair under 20 inches. And, you know, if you were in Midtown yesterday, it was like a blizzard, wind, gusts of 40 to 50 miles an hour at LaGuardia, and drifts now four to five feet. That's the other problem. In D.C. and Baltimore, where I was earlier, we didn't have quite as much wind, so the drifting was less. And in Boston, it's still snowing at midnight. 23 and a half inches, that's fourth all time. We haven't gotten an update from Boston since midnight. They may go down even higher, number two or three, maybe even the biggest storm of all time. Hannah? Wow, and it's going to get topped off today, I understand, with another inch or so. Why was this storm so big, Mike? What caused it? Well, first of all, you got to have the right ingredients, and we had them. We had the jet stream dipping down, and that ends, ends up bringing tropical moisture. We had a lot of tropical moisture Friday and Saturday. We saw this coming because about a week ago in Southern California, three and a half inches of rain in Los Angeles, two inches in Phoenix, snow in the mountains. We had our first tornado over the weekend of the year. We didn't have any tornadoes in January in the Florida Panhandle on Saturday. So it was all setting up. The tropical moisture came up from the southeast, and we had extremely cold air, some of the coldest year this season, even colder than that stretch in January, and that was pretty frigid. And the first part of the storm was actually what we call overrunning, the cold air being forced up and over, the, war, um, the warm air being forced up and over the colder at the surface, and that's how we got our first foot of snow in the mid-Atlantic. Then we had the storm developing late Saturday and Sunday into yesterday off the southeast coast, and that's when it really cranked here in New York and now in Boston. And that's why we had more wind here and less wind in D.C. and Baltimore, because we only had uh, the tail end of the actual storm. What we got was what we call the overrunning, which dumped a foot and then another foot from the storm. So kind of a one-two punch. All right, Mike Seidel, thanks so much. Okay. <laughs> Take care out there. <laughs> where is he going? I don't know where he's going, but he's skipping through the snow. <laughs> Bye, Mike. <laughs>